studio edition of the Belly Dance Quickies, coming to you from One World Dance and Music here in Phoenix. So today we're going to be doing a veil combination, and if you have been following the Quickies for any time, or if you are a subscriber, then you may be aware that I am about to start a four-week online veil choreography to the song Aya Zane. And today we're actually going to do the very first part of that choreography in our Sunday in the Studio session today. A little bit more information about the, the online choreography that's coming up starting on June 1st. It's going to be running over the course of four weeks and it will be available uh, through a private video link so that you can do the classes at any pace that you like during the week. And it will come out in four parts in four weeks in a row. This is an intermediate level veil piece and you'll want to use a standard size veil but a rectangle and not a half circle. You could definitely do this with a four yard as well but it does need to be a rectangular veil as opposed to a half circle veil. So you'll have a lot better results with that. Okay so for our combination today we're going to be doing the first part of this choreography and then you can use that as a combo or you can go ahead and take a look at the box down there and follow the link and take a look at the online choreography course if you'd like to learn the rest. So let's get started. Okay, so for starters, we're going to have our veil draped. I want you to take your veil over your shoulders and even up the edges, and you're going to uh, keep your hands, one hand holding two edges of the veil, but you're going to do it separately. So I'm going to take my pinky and my ring finger and slide them down one side of the veil, and then I'm going to use my index finger and my thumb on the other side. So I'm going to come close to the camera and show you my hands and how I have these together. I'm holding them in one hand but you can see that I have one side in my pinky and my ring finger and the other side in my thumb and my index finger like that. So that way I'll be able to get them apart much more easily later. So you want to have them go ahead and adjust your hand to wherever you need to to have a nice arm line down here. And we're going to be starting facing the back. So the mirror is going to be front. That means I'm going to start this way. And I will be on my left foot and I have my right arm out and my left arm out at my side. Just make a nice kind of wedge shape with my veil. Make sure your hair is inside because that's going to be, it's going to matter later. And make sure your elbow is also inside. You don't want your elbow out here because that will cause you an issue later as well. So you're on your left foot. We're going to step onto the right foot. We're going to bring the left arm in under your face to frame it. You're going to step on the left foot and extend the right arm out like this. And then we're going to make two turns. We're going to step right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. You're going to land in that same long body line where you're looking out over your arm, but this time your feet aren't crossed. This time you're on your right foot and your left foot is out. So you could do those turns traveling to the right if you have the space or you need to travel there, or you can do them right on in place if you need to stay in one spot, like I do right now. <laughs> so we're going to lean into that left leg now. We're going to bring the arm up. We're going to take it up and through here, and you can see I'm going to come out right here at this crease. We're going to come back onto our right foot, and we're going to take our veil up over our head. This is where you might, like why I said you want to make sure your hair is in, otherwise it's going to flip. Now we're headed to go into a frame position. So you went with your head uh, all the way in here, and then you're going to bring it down. Now the way, nicest way to get into this frame is get a little tension on this top edge here, and you can feel it then when it gets on your head. And then you just go ahead and start to move your hands down and open, and then you want to frame, ideally frame your bra line right there. So we're going to do this over the course of a couple of turns. We're going to come from here, we went, we went here and we came back. We're going to turn a counterclockwise. So I'm going to turn over my left shoulder and I'm going to turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to go stop and I'm going to do a cross turn. So I'm going to go around, and while I'm at the back, I'm going to take my, my veil into that frame so that when I turn around, I'm arrived at the frame right here. Okay, so now we're going to take our foot, we're going to step on the right, we're going to do a counterclockwise rib circle, facing the downstage right corner, downstage left corner, clockwise rib circle right there, bring the foot in, you're going to drop it open, you're going to slide the hand down the veil, and now you're going to have your hands in this next angle up here. From here, you're going to go around. You're going to use six counts of an undulation, and then we're going to bring it to the, to the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, around to the front, seven, eight. So you're going to come down, you're going to take, you're going to take the veil up and over, and you're going to step right, left, right, and you can take much bigger steps than that if you have the space. I don't want to get out of the camera range here. You're going to take an arabesque to turn. That's going to take you around about three quarters, or one quarter of the way, excuse me. You're going to continue to go and turn to the back. So now I've made a half turn. My veil, I'm going to take it around the front. Now my veil's made a half turn. I'm going to stay at the back while I complete the turn for my veil. And now I'm going to roll in behind my right arm. So my right arm is now facing, or aiming towards stage left. I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to bend at the elbow. I'm going to bend my other elbow. And I'm going to roll right in behind it to a closed position right here. Okay, so let's walk through all of that. I'm going to go back to our beginning rep, our drape, and get your hands on one side and the other, over the shoulder, and I'm going to face the back. Now again, you can travel on these first two turns, and you can also do a lot more traveling on your arabesque. There's three steps before the arabesque, and uh, if you have the space for it. I'm going to try and stay very close in where I am right now. So you're facing the back, and you are on your left foot. So you have the right foot, arm, step, and reach. Step, two, three, four, five, and hold. Step, arm in, come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop yourself, frame, come to the front. Step, and over, left foot, and over, slide it open, one, two, three, four, five, six, around to the front, down, up, right, left, right, arabesque, turn around, finish the turn with the veil, come in at the back. Okay, now let's do that with some music. something much fancier in there that requires a lot more breakdown and that's actually what's in the session choreography something that's a nice little trick uh, that you'll be able to kind of put in your belt and use for other things as well so uh, that is your little taste of this choreography if you like it and you'd like to see uh, about learning the whole thing you can check the link in the box down there for the registration page and find the different levels of learning that um, are offered for this class so yeah, that's what we have for this week. I hope you guys are having a really nice Memorial Day weekend, and I hope to see a bunch of you in the online session that starts June 1st. Have a good one. Bye-bye.